you know, I'm sorry you think American exceptionalism is awful. I think I, this I think, aspect, I think, I think this I think, aspect you know of it. You've got your political agenda. No, it's God, honestly, God love you. Senator, it's not. I just want to understand why you do not think that guns are the problem. That is Ted Cruz being asked an incredibly simple question by a reporter on Sky News. Why is it that only America has these sorts of problems? And Ted Cruz, who considers himself an amazing debater, a shrewd politician, crumples in the face of that simple question and runs away. But that said, I want, I want you to see more of the context. What is it that led him to flee? Take a look at this. sets of parents who, who are never going to get to kiss their child goodnight again. Is this, is this the moment to reform gun laws? You know, it's, it's easy to go to politics. But it's important. It's at the heart of the issue. I, I get that that's where the media likes to go. No, it's not. It's where many of the people we've talked to here like to go. The proposals from Democrats and the media, inevitably, when some violent psychopath murders people, a violent psychopath who's able to get a weapon so easily. 18 year old with two AR-15s. If you want to stop violent crime, the proposals the Democrats have, none of them would have stopped this. But why does this only happen in your country? I really think that's what many people around the world just, they cannot fathom. Why only in America? Why is this American exceptionalism so awful? You know, I'm sorry you think American exceptionalism is awful. I think this aspect I think this aspect of it. You got your political agenda. No, it's God, honestly, God love you. Senator, it's no, not. I just I want to understand I, why you do not think that guns are the problem. Why is this just an American problem? Well, it is just an American problem, sir. Mr. Cruz, why is America the only country that you, faces this kind you, of you know what? mass shooting? This, but you can't this, answer this that. You can't answer that, can you, sir? You can't answer that. Why you know, is this country? Why is it that people come from all over the world to America? Because it's the freest, most prosperous, safest the country on may earth. Be the, and it may be the freest, it may be the most popular. Why are our kids dying in so look, I don't know the politics of those Sky News reporters, but I feel like they were being very reasonable. They were asking very simple questions that no matter how simple they are, nonetheless, no right winger can actually answer them. They'll give all sorts of explanations for why these shootings happen. None of those make sense in light of the fact that they don't happen in other countries that have all of the things that that they would cite. And And when someone points out an issue that you can't address saying people come here anyway, that doesn't diffuse the concern and he knows that. I mean, he would say after all, there's a crisis on the border. It needs to be fixed. We're not safe. Well, but people come here anyway. I mean, lots of people love to visit the United States. I guess it's not that much of a crisis, I suppose. You talk about like Chicago's gun violence or whatever. Yeah, but people come here anyway. Inflation is bad. That's a concern you have. Yeah, but people come here anyway. That's not an actual answer to the very simple question. Why is it that we have hundreds of school shootings and no other country on the face of the earth, despite having diversity or inequality or mental health problems or whatever it is that they want to, lack of fathers, a, a secular society. There are all sorts of societies like that all over the world. They don't have school shootings like this, only we do. Why is that? And Brett, he just, he can't answer it. None of them can. Ted Cruz is if you want to know anything about Ted Cruz, the best way to describe him is queefy booger slush. That's what Ted Cruz is. He is just this nebulous, knowledgeless guy who 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 loves to communicate nonsense in a way that sounds like he really cares. And he doesn't. Mm -hmm. And that if any if if the truth about Ted Cruz and pretty much every one of the other queefy booger slushes on the right and on the left, all of the politic politicians, the way they talk is that is the language of queefy booger slush. It's just this nothing. I really, all those kids out there never gonna breathe again and the families are gonna, are never gonna kiss their kids again. He gets to do that all the time because he never faces a reporter like the ones from Sky News who just asked him questions and then pointed out when he couldn't answer them that he couldn't answer them. They have and and it's it was all exposed by that first debate with Donald Trump when he just showed up and just pushed them and they all fell down like dominoes because yeah, that don't get challenged. That doesn't work with with people who are watching unless there that it works unless there's someone else who's out there being real on camera 
in front of people, communicating to them that this guy's full of it. And that's exactly what Ted Cruz is. He is wildly, stupidly full of it. Full of what? Queefy booger slush. I think you're onto something. For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.